Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to a very special uh, quarantine edition episode. Today is April 2nd. It's uh, around two, two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm literally in the heart of El Centro. I'm deep inside El Centro right now and um, I just wanted to show you guys what's going on and talk to you guys about what's going on. All right, as you guys can see, it's dead out here. There's nobody on the streets and we're gonna look at everything together okay we're all gonna be talking about this and looking at everything together as we go about exploring El Centro and beyond all right so basically right now um we're a few blocks away from El Zocalo which is El Centro Centro which is the heart of the city right now we're a little bit south of the city and um you know usually right now this is so many people jam-packed throughout this whole area all these businesses are open everything is just you know going you know full-blown nuts out here um especially again two o'clock in the afternoon on a thursday you know this place should be popping but as you guys can see everything is closed it's like a ghost town there are people out and about but very few and um, look, I'm walking right in the middle of the street. Something that's like impossible to do, period. End of story. So, here, let me not get run over here. But uh, yeah, so basically, I came out to the Centro, it said Centro today because I was gonna, I had to pick up some money from, uh, from Western Union. Um, so far, Western Union and the banks are still open. MoneyGram is still open. Places like that are still open. But, you know, we also came down here to buy a few things. Like, uh, one of these stores here, I think over there where it says Winnie the Pooh, over there, like um, Christian usually buys um, her dog food right over there for Gizmo, her doggy, which I'm sure you guys know. Look, this is where all the buses, you know, for the beach leave. All the buses are here. And in fact, there's only one, two buses here. There's usually more buses bustling with people. A lot of buses are pretty empty, as you guys can see. All right. But uh, yeah, right here is where she buys her dog food, closed. So we had to find somebody on Facebook to buy her, you know, some, uh, some dog food and deliver it to her house. So we got that going. Um, over here, across the street there, right next to accessories, right there. That's where I, I would go and buy my blunts, you know, usually, all right? I can show you guys now. Uh, most people would want to know where this place is anyway. But uh, yeah, so this is where I usually go to buy that. But it's again, it's all boarded up. You would think this place would be open. Also, liquor stores are, are going to be closing today. Um, as of yesterday, um, um, they told us already that places like uh, convenience stores and other small places are not selling any alcohol. And then today is the last day for alcohol sales um, in places like a supermarket or Walmart or whatever. So um, basically, when I'm getting, I'm, I'm going to walk all the way home. We're gonna be talking for a little while, all right? I'm gonna be uploading this video on both channels. I'm sure you guys already know this by now, so this is gonna be on both channels, okay? Because this is gonna be talking about, again, you know, so many things that pertain to both channels at the moment. So, we're gonna be talking about a lot of things, a lot of, uh, we're gonna uh, bring out some facts, you know, where we're going with all this and all that. Right now, I'm walking in the middle of the sun. Um, in order to get the most vitamin D as humanly possible. I should be walking in the shade, but I'm gonna see if I can get uh, as much sun as possible. Also, it's hot and humid out here. Right now, it's like 80% humidity. It is crazy hot. And oh, look at this. Look at this. Perfect timing. Look at these brand new popo. All right. Look at that. Very interesting. But yeah, as you guys can see, there's no military of any kind. Um, what you're going to be seeing are police. There's two types of police, all right? There's, uh, there's two types of police in Mexico. Uh, police number one, which is like the ones that dress in blue. And they're basically just like uh, security guards. You know, they don't have much power. They don't do much. In fact... They don't have they probably have like a handgun at the most and then you got police number two police number two are those guys that you saw that they're in the black 
those police number two that would be considered like special ops like uh you know they would be considered like swat team they're you know that those are the ones that you always see with like the giant um, machine guns and shit like that and then you got the military military is military so i just learned that today as well you know so there's two types of police and right now you're seeing the the regular police the security guard guys you know just kind of telling everybody to be careful wash your hands you know like the guy you're gonna see at the end of the street you're gonna see people um some of these cops in the park kind of telling people you know the same thing don't be congregating here maintain your distance but again it's all voluntary nothing's being forced at the moment as far as i know but we are under lockdown to the 30th so this everything you're seeing around me right now this is how it's going to be for 30 more days which kind of sucks all right what was open there was just a little store so basically if you sell food if you sell medicine if you're a bank anything like that they're not even going to bat an eye they're going to let you do what you got to do but right here is a, a, a bakery this bakery is closed this is a socalo you guys already saw me coming through here on my bike in the last episode and um yeah you never see this is so dead all this is always always packed full of people packed the whole place is packed so much traffic everywhere and you're not seeing a damn thing all right we're gonna go a little bit through the park so you guys can get an idea and see the park oh in fact i gotta go this way too i forgot i gotta stop by somewhere because i'm on my way to the bank real quick i'm gonna see if i can get me some silver that's one of the other things i'm gonna buy me today i gotta buy me some silver because silver you know um got cheap again today so depending on what channel you're watching this on if you want more information on silver you already know what to do either check out the rest of the channel or check out the other channel all right you guys can figure out which channel's which but anyway so out here you know again those are usually packed full of people but if i'm sitting down right now um again you don't see any cops you don't see any security you don't see anything so i can sit down here and sit and sit and sit and sit and then maybe a few hours later some cop will show up some rent a cop and be like hey can you move it along you know you're trying not to we're not we're trying not to congregate people here and then you can say yeah sure or you can also say you know what i'm waiting for somebody and they'll be like okay laters and that was it that's pretty much it all right so yeah everything is beyond dead it's crazy hot though it's super hot Woof! it's like 95 degrees right now with like 90 percent humidity so yeah so right now I'm, I'm just gonna go on my way to see if i can score some silver hopefully the place is still open i think uh, it's open they said it was but yeah man you know now let's talk about what's really going on what do i think is going on my opinions this is just my opinion guys you guys already know what's up but basically I, look at this man look how dead it is no traffic at all no nothing this is crazy but anyways all right so we're just gonna walk through here fuck it why not but yeah one of so one of the things um I, what i think is happening you know after reassessing all the information looking at all this information looking at everything from every point of view and every angle honestly you know what i really do think is happening i think it's uh the united states is at war with china and china is at war with the united states even though neither one of these and neither one of these places are going to say that they're at war but that's what i think it is i think it's a biological warfare that's happening between both countries and a lot of countries like mexico india and you, you you pretty much know what country you might fall into a lot of these countries are not um part of the you know part of the war so everybody's just uh either a either a you're part of this war or b you're just uh trying to not get caught you're trying not to get caught through uh friendly fire type of stuff again all this look at this crazy how this is okay now we're in the tourist heavy section all this out here is very tourist heavy and nothing everything's dead there's no tourists you know no tourists no no nothing but uh yeah just so you know where we're at just in case you're wondering but yeah long story short i really do think on i'm gonna make a video i'm gonna make a video about that in a future um episode for my regular channel talking about what i really do think but i honestly i think that that's I think that's what's going on i think that you know pretty much it's like china versus the u.s right now and everybody else is just trying not to get involved and get in the way of friendly fire. you know try not to be part of the friendly fire i mean not friendly fire try not to be caught in the way or you're trying to get caught in the in the middle of all this fire you know what i mean um that's going back and forth and so basically it's uh united states versus china we got europe right in the middle but if you look at plenty of countries out there you know you're also going to see 
you know the fact that there's a lot of countries that are doing just like what china's doing all right so i gotta go in there this is where i would buy my silver let's see if i'm allowed to go in there or what's going on all right hold on a second Hola, necesito ir al cajero. Esto es la, la línea aquí, la cola. Sí. sí. All right, so I guess the line is out here. Señora, estás en la cola también. Muchas gracias. All right, so I guess we can't wait in the IC. We got to wait out here. So, yeah, out here you would be able to collect, you know, Western Union money grams. Here, let me show you. Might as well since I'm already here. This is one of the places called Electra. All right. At Electra, the Western Union thing doesn't really work. But MoneyGram always works. Also, they have a bank here, aka Banco Teca. All right. And uh, here's where I buy my silver, where I'm going to buy some silver. See, look, I think it went up in price. 471. I'm going to check it real quick before I even go in there. Look, that's a gram. So it's like 60 bucks a gram, give or take, of old, a gold. 60 bucks a gram of gold. But I'm gonna check on my phone real quick while I wait, and then uh, we're gonna catch this. You know, I'm gonna pause it here, and then we're gonna keep recording on the way back home, okay? So yeah, I just wanted to show you this real quick. So again, everything is closed this is normally bustling full of people at nighttime there's a lot of people selling stuff and artists and all kinds of shit all over the place but right now you can see it's dead empty also i'm still across the street from here and um i have gone against buying the silver i'm not going to buy the silver because earlier earlier this morning when i came um silver all right so i'm gonna tell you right now so earlier when i came silver i mean earlier in the morning when i checked the price of silver was around 400 pesos a little under 400 pesos a, a, a coin as of right now the silver coin is around um 470 something so basically it went up like five dollars in price so what i what i was gonna you know i had a bunch of errands to run and i was just gonna come through here at you know one of my last errands but in just like an hour hour and a half look how much the price jumped but at the same time when the price was like at 380 something for silver it had dropped dramatically so that's why i was like oh let me come out here but as you guys can cheat as you guys can see things changing on a on an hour to hour on a minute to minute basis things are changing so i'm, I'm gonna flip the camera around guys but anyways things are changing on an hour to hour minute to minute basis so actually i've i've uh, i've advised myself against buying the silver right now and actually what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go home and then uh you know, I, I gotta stock up on beer, stock up on liquor. I gotta go to Walmart, get a last few things, um, just in case. <clears throat> Definitely, I need to get liquor and beer and shit. You know, that's for sure. So I gotta go do that, and then, um, yeah, you know what I'm gonna do is since I can, I can actually look at the price of silver on my computer on my phone. Um, see, look, look how dead everything is. It's pretty crazy. It's so quiet. You can hear a pin drop or a broom sweep. So anyways, so yeah, basically that's uh, what's going on at the moment. You know, what, what, uh, what's going on is that, um, you know, the silver price is constantly changing and I'm in, I'm in a buyer's market here. So I'm just going to wait at home and the minute that like I see the price drop again, I'm just going to get on my bike and there's a closer silver dealer bank, you know, so uh, there's a closer bank Azteca to my house. Um, and so I just go to that one and that's it. You know what I mean? Like uh, it's only going to... How much could it change in a few minutes? I don't know. Whatever. We'll find out. But definitely, I mean, I can see it changing as much as it did in a few hours. But again, guys, today's episode is that so you guys can see what's going on out here. But a walking perspective. All right. Because um, this is going to be an extra long episode. Again, I'm putting this on both channels because I, both of them have a, you know, uh, you already know why you know the travel mexico channel for those out there that are interested in seeing what's going on on the ground out here and then um i'm putting this on my regular channel because people also want to know what's going on on the ground out here so that's why i'm doing double duty i never ever upload the same episode to both um this is just one of those few times all right 
Uh, but everything is closed. Everything, everything is basically closed. It doesn't seem like anything's open. Um, the only things that I see open at the moment are just, you know, the same thing as back home, you know, meaning uh, a grocery store, um, maybe a hotel here or there. Um, you know, so all grocery stores are open, parks are still open, um, liquor stores are going to be closed as of today for a whole month. So that's kind of crazy. Um, but you can see the priorities out here. But yeah, now let's talk about a little bit of like a touch on the war on, with China and the US. Yeah, guys, look, I mean, the more we look at what's going on on the internet and what's going on out there, it really does seem like even though China is saying, oh, we're friends with the US and the US is saying, oh, we're friends with China and there's nothing going on and blah, blah, blah. That could not be any further from the truth. All right, yeah, because I wanted to cross over here real quick, show you the... But yeah, look at there's no traffic, everything is closed. I'm gonna go to the park over there for one minute. Yeah, to me, it's still surreal. It's very surreal to see no one or nothing in the city. When uh, I was out here with Christian a little while ago, like an hour ago, even she was in shock, you know, as to, you know, how dead everything is. But yeah, nothing here, nothing, nothing. You're probably gonna see like a few people that, you know, probably security guards or what have you, but this is like completely dead, completely empty. It's crazy. So everything here is closed. This is super tourist central, you know, um, here. On this end, let me see, I'm walking in the dirt here. But anyways, all these are restaurants and tourist stuff. You know, again, see, look, tourist stuff, uh, you know, restaurants, nice area here. And then this is also a very nice area here. I forgot the name of this park. I always forget. I always forget some of these things. But yeah, this is basically where I had my first meal ever. <laughs> you know, when I came to Mer Merida, my first drink, my first night, this is that park. And a lot of people, a lot of people out here, this is their first time um, ever, like real experience with Merida when they come out here. So this little park, this little area, these little restaurants out here. But yeah, pretty crazy. See everything just dead, stand still. And seeing all these buses empty, that's another like real mind fuck. You always see the buses like full, like you do in India. But uh, you know, just people hanging, people hanging from the from the rooftops of the buses and stuff. But uh, yeah, so basically, you know, basically right now, um, yeah, like I was saying, I really do think that, that that's what's going on. I think that you know, I'm gonna explain this more in a more detailed episode on my regular channel. I'm just gonna touch briefly on it here. But I really do think that it's something crazy like that that's going on. I really do think that, by the way, I'm going for full blown, you know, sun today. And you look how strong the shadows are, by the way. I'm sure you guys already can tell. But yeah, I really do think that it's a full blown war, a full blown uh, biological war between both China and the US and pretty much the rest of the world is trying to just not get caught in the middle i mean i don't know what else to say i mean I, I mean i do know what to say i'm gonna say a lot of things about that but yeah you know it's like it's getting crazy so in, in places like mexico the things that they're doing out here is that they're actually like telling people don't get tested stay at home relax you know pretty much you know don't you know don't panic just relax hang tight we're gonna be okay In fact, the only people that are really getting in any kind of trouble out here is anyone. Anyone that's uh, out here basically fermenting, fermenting, whatever, um, panic. Anyone that's um, creating panic, anyone that's, um, you know, uh, making sure that people are in panic, you know, any kind of panic type situation type whatever, you know, uh, meaning that if you're telling people whatever anything that you would say to people or put on facebook or put it on the internet or put anywhere in order to get people riled up you know uh you know getting people to you know go um and uh, riot or go and take a lot of uh, toilet paper or go, whatever any kind of thing like that those are the activities that are being shunned upon out here basically all right so that's number one so other than that Everyone is, um, you know, the, the health people out here are pretty much telling everybody, stay home. Um, we know that most, it's like we know that most likely 80% of the population is going to get this at some point. 
we know that there's no real way to avoid this or get around it or anything like that so we're all just trying to mitigate this we're all just trying to you know make sure that as people get sick that you know people can also get treated and then so on and so forth so basically out here they're just telling people stay home don't don't do anything just go out when you need to if you do get sick stay home and um get treatment we'll help you if you you know if you if you can you know how to take care of a flu all right so you can take care of the flu yourself and if you can't for whatever reason then we will help you all right meaning You know, straight up meaning you know they're they're helping the population deal with this but also not putting anybody in panic like in other places around the world and pretty much just saying to everybody that you know the best way to really get over this horrible situation is to just deal with it like a really bad flu and that's it and um i know i'm oversimplifying um a lot of the things that have been said or done out here but yes and no and that's kind of like where we're at right now where basically you know tons of people are you know being told completely different instructions in a place like mexico and a place like india and other parts of the world as opposed to what they're telling people in the u.s and other and, and other first world countries so out here they're really just trying to deal with the fact that you know they know that people are going to get sick they know that this is just like um, any other disease even though this disease might be stronger than normal but uh but it's not it's not something like the end of the world it's not something that is gonna truly affect the population unless it's um not dealt with correctly so in the sense of out here in mexico you know what they're trying to do out here is basically that they're trying to just mitigate the situation you know they're just trying to um, make sure that the world economy is on hold right now so while the world economy is on hold there's really no point or use for the for the mexican economy to to be working unless it's like a local thing so everybody right now in a sense is being just told to stay put because well i mean the whole world is being told to stay put and um we don't know exactly what could be going on you know maybe everyone around the world all the leaders everybody is really just in panic mode and they're really just trying their very hardest you know in order to deal with this situation the best possible way and it's all all over the place or maybe a lot of these individuals out there and all over on all of our respective countries know something that we don't and they're just trying to ready as best as they can not and then none, none of us really know what the hell's going Hey, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm literally out here. Um, I was walking in here in Parque Santa Ana, kind of showing you guys around, and then I noticed that the camera died. Um, I think it's just so hot the camera turned off. Yeah, I don't. Even, I, I think that this camera is not even immune to it either. Remember, the old camera used to die as well. At least this one lasts a little longer. But anyways, as I was saying, I'm here in Parque Santa Ana, as you guys can see. Dead. Everything's closed. Dead. I don't know what came out or not. What I was able to show you or not. But again, you know, this is. Um, you know dead restaurants dead you know what i was showing you before i noticed that it was dead was the fact that over there you might not be able to see it and there's music playing but all the way over there there's like a huge sign you know basically telling everybody how to take care of themselves from uh the virus and shit and um it's dead 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 so and yeah you know what i mean we're just walking around here we're gonna be on our way home now and i'm just gonna start ending this But yeah, so it's very weird, very surreal. Lots of interesting things happening. This park is looking a little horrible. Seems like um, they haven't been out here to water the plants or water the park. And this park seems a little abandoned. A little abandoned for Mexican standards, all right? Usually this area is nice and clean and cut and uh, taken care of. And for whatever reason, it looks like it's abandoned. This is what happens when you just don't give it maintenance for like a few weeks or a month. So that's not good. So that's one of the things I've noticed as well. But yeah, like I said, 
you know, a lot of interesting things are happening. A lot of changes are happening. That's why I decided to make this video um, and put them on both channels because I feel like there's a lot to talk about. Um, you know, um, when I'm talking, when I when I make the videos just for Mex for Merida, talking about this the virus updates. You know, basically I'm talking about you know numbers. I'm giving you guys a lot of numbers and stuff. And um, you know, at this point, it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? Like, there's not really not that many infections or deaths or anything like that out here in Mexico. It's at a minimum. In El Yucatan, where I live, there's like around a, around 50 cases, no deaths. Um, Quintana Roo, which is where Cancun is, again around 50 cases, one death. And then uh, Campeche, which is right next to us on the other side, again around 50 cases, no deaths. So everything's okay. A lot of people are panicking out here in Yucatan, and I found out why. And it's basically because the Yucatan is one of the fattest, unhealthiest states in all of Mexico. Yeah, I didn't know that either. So. With that being said, well, you could see why there's a lot of people that would be pretty scared out here. Um, because if you look at the numbers, you know, the people that are getting aff affected by this and, you know, affected in the most negative way are all those individuals out there that are overweight, with diabetes, you know, underlying health conditions, um, sickly people, older people with their really bad immune systems, you know, just bad immune systems, you know, all those people. So there's a lot of panic, you know, when it comes to anyone that's like that. Um, and that's just the truth. And, um, you know, we're also seeing that kids are actually pretty immune to this. In fact, the younger the kids, they seem to be really immune to this or really, really be able to fight this off. No problem. Obviously, the younger you are, the better. The older you are, the worse. But again, not in all cases, because there's a lot of people that are 180 years old. Look, you can hear a pin drop. But yeah, anyway, so like pretty much it all depends on your immune system. So me, you know, uh, Christian, grandma, a lot of people out here in Mexico, we got pretty badass strong immune systems no matter what. Um, just because of our diets and how we live our lives. But I can see why a lot of people out there, you know, would be fucking sh scared shitless because of the point that, um, you know, they're not healthy. And they don't, leave a, they don't live a healthy lifestyle in any shape, form, shape or form or whatever. Look at this guy so dead he's just at home so yeah anyway so so quiet so interesting I'm trying to enjoy the quiet too but yeah that's Paseo Montejo all the way over there at the end of that street like two blocks that's Paseo Montejo and again you don't you can't even see a car you're not even gonna see a car tourist radio station art gallery yeah obviously art galleries are closed and suffering so yeah but yeah guys i mean that's basically it you know what i mean like um mexico is not scared of the virus mexico is all right all right guys this thing keeps turning off <laughs> it's so hot so hot so i think i'm just gonna bringing this uh, episode to an end i think uh, we've uh, sweated to the oldies enough out here um so yeah i'm gonna point it this way we're almost home anyway but yeah guys you know long story short at the end of the day um i, I still stick to the thing that I, I really do think that what's causing this virus to explode you know in certain places around the world is just the fact that in those places the health isn't as great as it should be and that obviously um doesn't help but there's too many things to talk about here and i'm gonna be you know making another mexico merida video on my bike in the next day or two to so show you guys some more talk to you guys more in depth about what's going on out here and i'm also going to be making another episode for my regular channel um talking about more in depth about that usa versus china situation um that i touched on a few times on this episode and uh that's, that's it so Right now, um, check out my website, you know, joseadiaga.com. Check me out, all the links below. Find me on BitChute, find me on Library, find me on Twitter, find me. Uh, I got my own podcast. This is gonna be in a podcast form, I think, and so on and so forth. But, but pretty much all my content is in podcast form as well and um, beyond. Oof, so hot today, crazy hot. But anyways, guys, 
that's it it's time to go long enough episode hope you guys enjoyed it thanks again for being here um don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon but more importantly than anything else stay awesome but more importantly than anything else stay safe out there guys all right seriously it's gonna be a rough one it's gonna be a rough couple months we haven't even seen anything yet love you guys peace out and um